the channel. I am going to be doing, I think, I always say I'm going to be doing anything and then I never do it. A weekend reading vlog. I've been filming a weeky, a weeky, a weeky, <laughs> a week long reading vlog and it hasn't been going too hot. I've had a headache all day, but I feel a little bit better now. It's Friday night, Friday evening, it's 6.06. .06. So I have a few hours ahead of me yet. So this weekend is going to consist of editing, hopefully reading, and some studying and some homework and stuff like that. And the whole weekend I get to myself, I don't have to work this weekend, which is the first time in freaking forever. Actually last weekend I didn't have to work either, which was really nice. But last weekend I didn't do much with myself. I just kind of sat around and like, like marinated in my room or sat in my room for like the whole weekend. I didn't do anything, nothing. Reading wise, I'm currently reading Ordinary Monsters by M or uh, J.M. Miro. Um, I'm super excited to hopefully like dive more into this book this weekend because it's a really good book. When I pick it up, I'm shoved into the world and I'm so involved, like I'm so into it. And so I really would like to continue this this weekend. It is now Saturday. So I'm gonna work on laundry today. I have some going right now. It's my own laundry because if I'm gonna work on it, I'm gonna do mine first. I just wanted to show you these things before I get like, like look at these posters I got in the mail. So this one I got a while ago. I have an Evelyn Hugo poster um, because I saw, I saw Jesus. I saw Olivia Reads a Latte like showing hers off and I wanted one so I found it and I bought it off of Etsy. I had another one, an Elvis one, but it's Austin Butler as Elvis because I love Austin Butler as Elvis. I just love him. I love Austin Butler. Um, so I had this one here, but it fell down the back of my bed and my bed is like a brick and he's gone. And then I recently got in the mail these little Polaroid card things and I didn't expect them to be this big. I was planning on ha hanging them up like on string lights on my bookshelves, but they're a little big for that. So I'm just gonna be putting them up on the wall somewhere. And so I have the inheritance games. It tells you the year that the book came out, the, char the characters in the book, as well as the uh, genre and the series name and the author. So 2020, wow, that's already came out 2020. Jesus, it's almost three years old. The American Roommate Experiment, which I actually haven't read this one, but I want to and I plan on it soon. The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. The Spanish Love Deception, my favorite. Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, obviously I'm gonna have that. I have Heartstopper. The Unhoneymooners. And then we have Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. There's a few more I want. I just want to read the books before I buy the cards, you know, except for the American Roommate Experiment because I know I'm gonna love that book. There's no doubt in my mind. So yeah, I'm just gonna work on this this weekend. I can't wait. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on some dark academia music. I'm just gonna dive right into Ordinary Monsters and I will film the whole, the whole process because we need some montages up in this video, okay? So let's get at it. Let's skedaddle. Spring is the season that wakes me alive And fall is the season to contemplate life Oh, yeah. I don't know What is it exactly in this time of year That makes the melancholy me reappear Oh, yeah. Back and forth through Dark roast coffee Salt mist and sea Sand and Is 
say goodbye to summer. I keep on forgetting times learn how to fly, and before I know it, it passes me by. Oh. So, with Ordinary Monsters, I got to page, let's see, chapter 8, page 150, and so I've been tabbing quite a bit because it's starting to pick up. Like, it's, it's not, like, not been picking up the whole time, you know? It hasn't been slow or anything, but I feel like I'm getting to the meat of the book. Like, I'm starting to tab almost every three pages or so, and it's starting to get really fun and, like, Oh my god, I'm having in I'm having ideas in my head like who could this be? What do you think is gonna happen? So I write it down. I write about what I like in the characters. Like freaking Marlo is the sweetest freaking thing. Oh my god, I love Marlo. He's so cute, he's so sweet. All he wants to do is help Alice and he's just an eight-year-old kid and yet he has all this responsibility on his shoulders to keep his powers a secret and like control them. I root for Marlo. I love Charlie as well. Like, Charlie, like, is also very new to these, like, not new to the powers, but he's been told to keep them a secret his whole life, and they're starting to get out, and people are starting to figure out what his gift and power is, and he's nervous by that, and he's, he's, oh, he just got attacked, like, oh my, I can't say it without spoiling, but this book is, like, incredible. There's so much going on. There's so many different point of views we're following, but it's also, like, it all comes together so well. I really enjoy it. Hey, everybody. It's later in the night. It's almost 11 o'clock at night, and I want to go to bed, but at the same time, I really want to take a bath because I haven't done that in, like, a good month or so. Today has been a productive day. It's Sunday night. It's, like, 8 o'clock. I cleaned today. I did what I said I would do. Oh my god. My dad helped me too. My goal this weekend was to clean the basement and we have accomplished it pretty much. For the most, like more than I was expecting it happened. So I'm pretty dang satisfied. Or I, yesterday I kind of took the time to edit my December TBR video and I'm finally done exporting it and I made the thumbnail tonight so that it's ready to be uploaded to YouTube tomorrow. Uh, I almost regret saying I'm gonna post every Monday because I know there's like not a lot of people watching but the last video I have is on its way to a hundred views which is really good for me in in a week so I'm very happy about that um, 
people are interacting with the videos, they're liking it, they're commenting. People, I got like four subscribers since I posted the video and it just makes me feel good. I know it's not like a lot, but it, it means a lot to me to think that people actually kind of care what the frick I'm, you know, I take the time to post these videos and spend a lot of time editing and making the thumbnails and everything and then people answer and and they comment and it makes me feel so good. Hey. <laughs> It's Sunday, or no, it's Monday morning now. I'm just trying to close out the vlog because I didn't do it last night because I was, didn't feel like it. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope it was all right. Um, my big book haul video that I recently posted a couple weeks prior to this one uh, is doing pretty well. I got another comment today and I'm going to answer when I get home from school. Um, so yeah, just thanks everyone for for commenting and like, sharing your thoughts and feelings with me because it really makes me feel less alone here and not like I'm just talking to nobody. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to school now <laughs> and we'll talk to you next Monday. So, see you later, taters. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.